Good way to end this week. Thanks, Lord. Well, now a vile visitor is lurking tonight in the waters off Long Beach Island. It's creepy, it's smelly, and it's extremely strange. And no one has ever seen it before. One BC 10 Jersey Shore Bureau reporter Ted Greenberg investigates for us. Very strange. Yeah, we're not liking it very much. Some people thought they were brains floating in the water. It looks like human feces, but it's obviously not. The descriptions are enough to make your stomach turn, and that's before you catch a whiff. A little bit overwhelmed with the, with the odor at times. We've never seen them before. They're called potato sponges. Has the consistency of a ripe apple. And within the last week, thousands of them have floated into lagoons along Long Beach Island and washed up on bayside beaches. It's foul smelling, it's foul looking. It's not really what you want your kids planning. The sponges live in Barnegat Bay, the same body of water where massive amounts of eelgrass recently surfaced. It's believed both fell victim to the summer's extreme heat. Both fell victim to the summer's extreme heat. Temperatures in a day in the high 80s, some, some reports in low 90s maybe. No rainfall, dissolved oxygen, no rainfall, dissolved oxygen, no rainfall, dissolved oxygen. It's not a good scenario for the bottom where you might. Health officials don't disagree that the sponges are a bit rough on the nose, but as far as safety is concerned, they say the water's been tested and there's no risk. The samples have come back. There's no indication that there's any fecal contamination or any anaerocoxis bacteria that will relate to a public health issue. A die-off from the deep caused by nature, now naturally decomposing. We're hoping for a, for a change in the, in the wing pattern so we can get these out of our lagoon. Ted Greenberg, NBC. Tens of thousands of dead fish wash ashore along the Delaware Bay in South Jersey. This is a mess that you have to see to believe, and it has beachgoers worried. Many of the dead fish have washed up on Highs Beach in Middle Township, New Jersey. Environmental officials don't know how or why the fish died. NBC 10's Doug Shimel is there live tonight. So, Doug, what do they know at this hour tonight? Well, you know what? Not a whole heck of a lot. And this is a massive fish kill and affects anybody who lives or vacations along this stretch of the bay. It can be more than 10 feet wide as you go south toward Cape May. If you're upwind as we are, it's tolerable. But when the wind changes, it creates a huge, unmistakable concern for anyone around here. Once you figured out what it was, the smell hit you. Garbage. It's fish, so it's going to smell really bad. All of this greeted Christine Cummings on her Wednesday morning beach walk. It looked like a foam, actually. It was out there. And uh, a little further down, we saw a couple of fish. Like, oh, that's a shame. It's a couple of <laughs> Then we realized, no, it's all fish. All along Highs Beach on the bay side of Middle Township, Cape May County, New Jersey, tens of thousands of what residents say are small bunker, a bait-type fish, all dead. It's scary, because we were swimming in this all... So far, we've been here since last Friday, and it's been wonderful, nice and clear. As you head south toward Villas, New Jersey, the massive fish kill drops down to three to four feet wide. And what should have been a feeding frenzy for seagulls, they won't touch. I haven't seen anything like this. I'm concerned about what's killing the fish. I'm worried about what caused this. New Jersey environmental officials are analyzing oxygen levels in the water, but they say samples so far do not show the typical causes of fish kills like red tide. Oh, 
So until there's some resolution, the residents and the renters are staying out of the bay and away from Dino Castellani's favorite pastime. Can't lay down. Can you do that today? 